Well, we begin with breaking news out of Thailand, where former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat has been sentenced to eight years in prison. Now, the verdict by the Supreme Court came just a few hours after he returned to Thailand from self-imposed exile of 15 years. He's been taken to a Bangkok prison. The jail terms are related to three separate cases, including abuse of power. These developments came on a day the Thai parliament expected to vote on a candidate put forward by his political allies to form the new government. Now, Al Jazeera's Tony Cheng is joining us with the very latest on the phone from Bangkok. Tony, talk to us a little bit about what we know about this judgment that's just come down. I think it's an important distinction to make. This is not a judgment. The judgment was made more than a decade ago while Mr. Taksin was outside the country. What happened this morning was that he was informed uh, when he landed of that judgment uh, by the Supreme Court. They checked his identity. This was something that Mr. Taksin was very much expecting, uh, and they have now taken him to Bangkok Raman Prison. Uh, they say that the sentence is eight years. Two of those sentences will run concurrently, slightly less than the 10 years uh, that we understand had initially been he'd been sentenced to. Nonetheless, the big question here is how much is he actually going to serve? There are many possibilities. There's a lot of speculation in Thailand. Might he be released on the grounds of ill health? Might there be a royal pardon granted? And I think it's also very important to remember that his political allies uh, holding a vote this afternoon in Parliament for a nomination to form a government. He could possibly have one of his allies as the Prime Minister. In that new government, his party per time may be in charge of the Justice Ministry. So there's a lot potentially to play out here, but I think the fact that he has decided to come back and face the music after all of this time suggests that he's at least prepared to spend one night in jail. And I think many people would be surprised if he's there for the full eight years. Thank you for clarifying that really important legal nuance. It is, it is a critical distinction. Okay, uh, help us understand then, all of this is happening at the time of a crucial vote in Parliament on who will be Thailand's new prime minister. Help us understand and explain that. Well, that is also something I think many people here are watching very closely and trying to work out. The elections happened four months ago. The party that won tried to get their man through uh, as the nominee for prime minister. That failed. So the second party, Pertai, the one allied to Mr. Taksin, has now got a new coalition. Uh, they are putting their nominee in front of parliament today, a man called Seta Tawisin. Uh, they say they had the support in the lower house for him to get the backing he needs. But the big question is in the Senate, the upper house. That is held, there are 250 seats held by military appointed senators. That was where the last nominee fell down. We don't know at this stage whether Mr. Seta is going to get the nod from the Senate. It, he may do, that may be part of the deal that brought Mr. Taxin back. But at this stage, I think everyone is watching proceedings very closely on television. On Indeed. All right. Tony Chang joining us on the phone from Bangkok with the developments that continue to change by the moment. Thank you for that. Okay, we're going to bring in Praveet Rojana Frook. He is a political analyst and columnist at Hosud English News website. He joins us from Bangkok as well. Uh, help us understand. We know that this has been a, a period of gridlock if, in recent months. Help us understand the legal issues here, given the fact that the timing, the return of tax in Shinawat, is certainly no coincidence. How does all of this play out? The fact that he now has had this sentence of eight years, his judgment, though, uh, comes uh, some time ago. What does all of this mean? Well, it means Taksin is desperate uh, after a decade and a half being in exile. He really wants to return to home because here he's not just another billionaire. Here in Thailand, he is Taksin Shinawat, the longest uh, serving elected prime minister of Thailand, I mean, former, that is. Um, and he's already 74. So the thing is, although he has just been sentenced to eight years in prison for corruption-related cases, 
uh, once you're over the age of 70s, you could apply for some leniencies. You may be moved to a, a corrections department run hospital or even a private hospital in the days ahead. And certainly he is seeking the a royal pardon from uh, the Thai king. Sure. And on but top of that, I, as we, it, But just because mm -hmm. you want to be back in office, I mean, why today? Why didn't he come two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Certainly today is significant. I mean, Thailand's pro Shinawatra right. party has nominated Shrita Tavison to become mm -hmm. prime minister. It, does that play yeah. into all of this? No, oh, absolutely. Um, it's because he is confident that. Uh, Four hours or five hours from now, today, uh, Seta, Mr. Seta, the Kertai Pro Taksin uh, Party PM candidate will become Prime Minister elect. Uh, they have cracked a deal with the Pro Military Junta political party, which uh, has a lot of influence over the Junta appointed senators who will jointly vote in this bicameral process this afternoon. So Texans believe uh, by the end of the, today, uh, the a new government will be elected, and that will be the government runs by a party which is nominally under his leadership. And could that government perhaps have a decision on his eight-year sentence? Well, they can't do anything. Of course, they can make sure he stay comfortably uh, while inside prison, in which he's already inside Bangkok remand prison as we speak. But uh, again, as I said, he could cite ill health uh, and old age to seek uh, leniency, and he could be moved to a hospital uh, or, or uh, infirmary facilities while awaiting a possible royal pardon to be granted. Very interesting developments. We appreciate you joining us. Praveet Rojana Frook, thank you for helping us understand this fast moving story. Thanks for having me, too.